that was easy. Hey guys, it's Jasmine. This is Advanced Manifesting Made Easy, where you can learn to manifest anything that you want, even a specific person. And today we have a very special guest who I've been having so much fun with, Amanda from Create Your Future. Say hi. Hello. Jerry came too. He's like, oh, hi. awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. She is, I don't know, the first person that I ever saw use a doll. And now I'm using a doll on my channel too, because it's an, almost, I, it's almost not even an analogy, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's got a name. He actually talks now. This is crazy. He's got his own life. <laughs> we were going to talk today about, well, beliefs, because a lot of people are having trouble with what to believe, how to change. A lot of people want to know how to change their beliefs. And it kind of goes along the lines of how to remove your blocks thing, because everybody likes to say that they have blocks. But I think it's a lot simpler than that. There, There's like one belief that you can have that can totally shortcut you from all all the other little be limiting beliefs that you can have. What, what were we saying that was, Amanda? Yeah, so basically, right, what it comes down to is people say, well, how can I create this if I don't believe I can have a million dollars? Well, it's not about actually having the belief in what you're manifesting. The only belief that you need to have is that your thoughts create. The only belief that you need to have is that you could be, do, and have anything you want and that your thoughts create. I'll tell you, I sit on my couch to this day, staring off into space and, and just bewildered. And Andrew's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I still don't believe half of the things that I've manifested. I've manifested and created two amazing companies, him. I mean, just wonderful relationships, money. Like it just flows in so easily. And to this day, I still don't believe it. If you were to say to me, Amanda, you know, like um, you're going to have like, you know, a 500 person wait list in September, I would be like, you're crazy. But guess what? I do. And I still don't believe it because I never actually believe what I manifest. I do believe my thoughts create and I do believe in me. And that well, is none of it's really real anyway, is it? <laughs> no, exactly. not at all. Not at all. So it's about changing our belief. How do we change our belief? Here's a good one is you start manifesting and you start practicing and you start trying it. Right. Mm -hmm. So until you actually learn how to like you get a bike, you don't believe you can ride it but you get on it and you start and you try and you start and you try and then you get better and better and better and then you learn how to balance and you learn how to ride it and then you never forget how to ride it. Well, that's the same thing with manifesting. Our brain's a muscle and once we have a belief just in ourselves that we are God and like Neville says, I am, be still mm -hmm. and know that I am. Yeah, you are God, God can do anything. That is the only belief anyone ever needs, right? That's a big what I think secret that I've been noticing in the world in general and in the community among people who really, really manifest very, very well and easily for themselves is it's the people who really believe in the law, the people who really believe in manifesting and that they know that it works and that they know that I am the God of my reality. It doesn't really have to do with any personal characteristics beyond that understanding of like just being able to fathom that for whatever reason. But what I notice is that the people who are really amazing manifestors, they believe that they create their own reality to the extent that they can get a feedback that isn't what is desired and they can still be like, no, <laughs> that's not the one that's not what it's going to be it's going to be this other thing because i know you're so me pushed out because i was like i have an example about that and i do <laughs> it's like i knew okay so my example is when i was manifesting to live with my sp i was like one day i was pushing him pushing him and he was like you're just pushing me away stop trying to convince me it's never gonna happen and then i went you know the what? same one that you're with now the same one I'm with now. And I was like, you know what? I was like, no, no. I'm like, I got this. And I went back into my head and I said, no, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to create intentions. So I created intentions that he was ready to be in a relationship with me, to move in with me. And that I can hear him tell me that because I was good enough. And then the next day at dinner, he said to me, well, this moving in. And I never said a thing, not a peep. And he said, well, this moving in thing, guess what? It's not going to happen. And I was like, that's okay. I'm like, I don't care. Don't worry about it. And then I kept creating my intention. And then all of a sudden the next day at dinner, same thing, never said anything. I never brought it up. All of a sudden he said, guess what? This moving in thing is never going to happen. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I get it. Don't worry. That went on five times. Okay. But mm -hmm. because I knew my thoughts create, I just kept staying. Every time you persisted 
within every time I every time I just kept persisting in my head every time he brought it up at dinner I said don't worry about it it's fine I understand I'm just happy being with you I love our relationship the way it is I understand you're not ready it's okay and then in my head I intend for him to be ready for a relationship it wasn't I, a big deal because you knew it yeah I knew and then by day seven that was it all of a sudden he's like wanted it and then it happened so fast but I didn't question in that five days why isn't this working I didn't uh -huh. question I was like, no, I know this works. I know I create, and this is mm -hmm. what I do. And that it just be with blinders on, like just focus and, you know. Focus. It's a, it's a I have that written down right here. Focus. <laughs> it's so important. And being disciplined. I didn't question. I didn't get upset. I just said, you know what? It's okay. I like our relationship the way it is. And, you know, now if someone tells me no, I'm like, yeah, we'll just see about that. <laughs> Okay, you know, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's the, like, the yeah, huge you're not thing. thinking anything actually. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I pushed through it is because I believed in me. I knew I was God, and I knew I could do this. You know, and and that was it, right? You know, mm -hmm. and that's, that's the it. only belief that you need. I know, right? So awesome. You know? It's like it's anything. Delightful. You know, like when I was growing my YouTube channel, it's like, what do I need to do to grow it? What do I need to do to grow it? And then I was like, oh my goodness, Amanda, I'm like, I intend for it to grow. I'm like, done. Close yeah. the browser windows. Like we we have everything inside of us already. We just need to create it, and we create it by focusing on it, right? You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Yours too. Your belief too. Your confidence in yourself with your specific person too, right? You know. I and and I have noticed that there is a bit of what I call vibrational preparation, where it kind of goes along the lines of this law of attraction, even though we know that's not exactly the case because it's actually parallel realities unfolding moment to moment that have nothing to do with each other. But there's this sort of you know vibrational preparation of like cultivating that atmosphere within you with your thoughts where you and, and it's kind of like purifying your thoughts and making it stronger and more dominant and then to the point to where you're ready to hit that resolve and be and, and have the conviction that you need to actually be dominant and push through anything yeah that's something that I noticed that's really important um what sort of things do you do to like vibrationally prepare is there any like preparation with you or does it begin with the conscious intention? Well, you know, I mean, so basically like what I do, right, is every single morning when I wake up, as soon as I open my eyes, I say, my thoughts create, I'm the God of my universe, and everyone is me pushed out. And then I say, I'm going to have an amazing day today. And then I go through some things that are actually, you know, like I'm really thankful for and happy for. Like just this morning when Andrew woke me up before he left to go to work, he said to me, he's like, you know how lucky you are he's like you get to sleep in and like lay in bed he's like I have to dress up in a suit and go out in the rain to go to work he's like you're very lucky and I thought to myself I'm like yeah I created this so um basically what I do all day is I just stay on top of my thoughts and if I do mm -hmm. ever start to actually feel something a little bit of anxiety or worry so like for instance um, before this phone call, before our club, I had to go out and get business cards. I didn't have to. I was just really excited about getting them. But I only had an hour to drive there to my post office box. So as I was like, the first thing is I was like, oh, well, when's I don't make it on time? And then I was like, oh, Amanda, yeah. I intend to make it on time. I intend for there to be zero traffic. Well, I made it back in a half an hour. I had a half an hour to spare. I'm like, and then I was like, well, what are you even worried about? So I just keep on it throughout the day. But if I do feel a dip ever, if I ever do feel a dip, I just start creating little things. And I also remind myself of other things that I created. So like yesterday, a little bit of a dip, no big deal, you know, and then all of a sudden I was like, no, I just started creating these little random things. And then all of a sudden just little things to make you feel better. And then you it kind of builds momentum. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just little things, you know, little things to feel better, you know, so someone calling me saying something, you know, someone doing something and just little tiny things like that. And then boom, you know, it all just kind of becomes right so it's just really about being aware of our thoughts and if we can't be aware of our thoughts to be aware of the feelings that we're having and then not to beat ourselves up over you know I didn't beat myself up over worrying if I was going to be late I just stopped myself and redirected myself to, to what I wanted it's just a constant reminder right and Neville says that one thing that we can do to get better at our disciplining our mind is at night when we lay down is to go through our day backwards 
okay. So, mm -hmm. okay, I brushed my teeth. I got into bed. I brushed my teeth. And before that, I was on the couch, you know, and to go and keep doing that every single night to work on your focus and work on controlling and training your thoughts because, you know, there is no simple way out. At the end of the day, our thoughts create. And the only way we manifest things is by convinced, being convinced we're going to get it. And the only person mm -hmm. that can convince you is you. Nobody else is going to do it. Right. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's a huge thing that, that I think is super important is like allowing all of the, what you're doing in your mind and the feedback that you're getting, allowing yourself to just be neutral about the manifestational feedback and like not feeling bad about it. Like I'm always looking at my thoughts and purifying my thoughts and trying to see like where I can do better, you know, and if I'm not manifesting something, I'll be like, well, obviously I'm doing something, you know, shitty in my mind. So like, what is it? But like, it's not, it's not me like, you know, uh, looking at myself ready to punish myself or be mad at myself or be upset at myself or blame myself. It's I'm just like very neutral about it. You know, I'm very neutral about, okay, so if I become aware of this thing, oh, great. I'm now aware of what I was doing crappy that I can do better. And I'm happy about that. You know, so I think that a lot of people take the feedback from the universe to like, punish themselves or feel not good enough or feel bad or feel like a failure. And that's actually, it's completely counterproductive. So that's another thing that I notice among people that are like actually implementing and doing really well implementing is they're very neutral about the, the feedback and that actually allows you to make more progress. Oh my goodness. Right. You know what? Even when I manifest something I don't like, I'm like, <laughs> it still works. I was like, yeah. so I uploaded this success stories video and I read all three of them right off my Facebook page, right? All three of them right in a row. I did, wasn't even selective. I found three really good ones all together. And that was my intention. I read them. I even said in the video that I read them off of the Facebook group and then I directed everybody there. And then all of a sudden I was like, okay, I'm like, as I was uploading it, I said, somebody's going to say I made these up. And then sure enough, right? <laughs> Somebody commented and said I made them up. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm like, for a half a second, I was like, ooh. And then I was like, oh yeah, I'm like, I totally thought that. I'm but it like, doesn't matter that, because that then you can just send them to your Facebook group and say, go ahead and look for yourself. Right. But I mean, you know, so, but basically, right, what I'm saying is, is when things show up that you don't like, just accepting that you've created them and then I make it look and right. I look at it and I go oh yeah I did have that thought oh there it is do I like it no but hey it showed up I'm still creating right and not to make it such a big deal because it's not like it's just more evidence that you actually do create and it's really about admitting everything that shows up in your reality to be good or bad is just to uh, take responsibility for it I just get off work so All right. Well, thank you so much, Amanda, for coming on and chatting with me and having fun and bringing our little dolls. Everybody, I want you to go over to Amanda's channel. I'm going to have that link below and check out her video, part one. And Amanda, we will see you next time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> Bye. That was easy.